above my uh, office desk here, I have a picture of Yoda from Star Wars. And Yoda, as we know, says, try not. Do or do not. There is no try. I worked in a bank during the largest financial crash in recent history. I lost all my bosses because they all either retired or went on redundancy and suddenly I was on my own. So I went from a, a team of five people. We were specialists. We, you know, we did operational risk. And next thing I was literally on my own and I had no boss. I had no support network. And um, that was that was probably the first proper hit I would have taken in, in the workplace. And the first thing to do, reach out for help reach out to the people that will rely on you. There was an old boss I had who I got on really well with, and he actually was in a building beside mine. And I went to him and I said, hey, I just need somebody to go to to bounce things off. Will you be that guy? And you know what happened? <laughs> he actually went to the bosses and said, actually, why don't we get Stephen to report to me? And that was it. Actually reach out and ask for help is the first thing I would say. That's that's number one. The, the other thing is keep trying things. You know what I mean? I've had plenty of failures in my life of things that didn't work, but do you know who remembers them? Just me. Nobody else remembers them. Nobody. Because guess what? Everybody's too caught up in their own world to actually remember your mistakes. They've got their own mistakes. So don't worry about trying something. The worst thing that can happen is it doesn't work and you've learned something. Who cares? Try. Above my uh, office desk here, I have a picture of Yoda from Star Wars. And Yoda, as we know, says, try not. Do or do not. There is no try. <laughs> and that is key to me. There is no try. You have to just do it. And if it doesn't work, great. What have you learned? That's key. The other thing I, I would say is, is keep learning and growing. If you're not growing, you're dying. If you're reading, if you're a reader or if you look at YouTube or if you look at, you know, if you're on Netflix or whatever your medium that you take in information, make sure that there's a good portion of that is educational. Make sure it opens a different part of your brain. That's the one thing I would say is really key because opening your brain to new ideas opens your brain to optimism and hope and possibility.